everybody? It is Taylor, Star Pills Brand Educator, and today I'm gonna go over our jelly mask. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go over how to set up and how to use it and how to apply. This is our beautiful jelly mask, and I'm gonna show you all the tools that I use to perform this service. So I have my silicone bowl, my pre-measured water, my scooper, and my spatula that I use to mix the product and apply it on my client. These are the Maystar Boosters. These are great additions that you can add on for any client depending on their skin type and their skin goals post-wax. I'm gonna take my clean, dry scooper and I'm gonna scoop one full scoop full and I'm going to clean off any excess product with the side of the bag or a clean, dry spatula. I'm gonna put that product into my clean, dry silicone bowl and then I'm gonna add my booster of choice. For this client, I am using the Hyaluronic Acid Booster. I'm gonna add about half a dropper full, so about 10 drops or so. So I'm gonna take my pre-measured water. This is two scoops. I'm gonna add that to my powder and booster mix. And I'm gonna take my clean spatula and I'm going to mix that until smooth. So you see right here, it's still runny. You just gotta keep stirring, keep mixing until you get that really smooth consistency. If it's too runny, you can always add a little bit more product to the mixture with no problem. Once you get the consistency that you need, that smooth gel-like consistency, you're gonna go ahead and apply. So make sure that your client's mouth is closed because it will get in their mouth if you decide to apply the mask over it. Always double check with your clients if they're claustrophobic before you go over their eyes and their mouth because this might trigger some things. If you find that you mismeasure the water and powder ratio, if it's too runny, just add a little bit more powder or let it set a little bit longer and you'll be able to apply that properly. If you mismeasured with powder and use too much powder, just add a smidge more water. I try to apply as much as I can and then I go and smooth it out. You have to work rather quickly, but see, I'm keeping it thick, but then I'm going and covering up any little patches. She has an open wound on her nose, so I'm avoiding part of her nose area just not to irritate that any further. You see the mass is dripping a little bit on her neck, so I'm just gonna go and swoop that up and move that around and make sure it is a nice, thick, even layer of product on her face. You don't have to use this product specifically on clients' faces. She got a full face wax, so this is why I'm doing it this way. You can do it on brows, you can do it in the Brazilian area, you can do it in underarms as well. This is gonna stay on for about 15 minutes or so, and I'm just gonna go in with a damp cotton round and clean up any edges. So if you get the mask in the towel, like how I did, you can just go ahead and separate it. It happens. And then you're gonna peel that beautiful mask off, take off any excess product, get a clean hot towel, and remove any little bits of mask that may be left over. At this point, you can apply finishing products of your choice. I am finishing her mask off with our Maystar Facial Moisturizer.
All right, everybody, I hope that helps. As always, if you need any further assistance or have any questions, reach out to one of our personal account managers at 305-907-0756 or email in at info at starpolewax.com. Bye.